The Black Arrows, a name that conjures up the peacetime drama and excitement of the Royal Air Force. Prior to 1955, the RAF didn't have an official aerobatics team at all. In 1956, 111 or Treble One Squadron under the command of squadron leader Roger Topp provided the first official RAF display team. After an early performance in France, they were applauded as Les Flèches Noires. The name stuck and was translated as... And so he said, OK, we're the Black Arrows. Roger Topp got his way and the aircraft were all painted black. Initially, the Black Arrows were five hunters, and by 1957, they were increased to a nine-ship formation, looping and rolling in glorious unison. Each season, new maneuvers and stunning formations, including the bomb burst, were added to excite the crowds even more. But at the 1958 Farnborough Air Show, the Black Arrows stunned the world with a record-breaking loop using no less than 22 hunters, which was and still is the greatest number of aircraft ever looped in formation. Strike Force Entertainment brings you the most comprehensive film history of the award-winning Black Arrows from the team's inception to its finale in 1961 when the squadron was re-equipped with the English Electric Lightning. Strike Force Entertainment also brings you The Red Arrows, The Early Years. We follow the fascinating history of RAF teams from the Blue Diamonds, the Tigers and Firebirds in their Lightnings, the Red Pelicans, the Yellow Jacks in the Fallen Nat, Meet the RAF's leading aerobatic team for 65, the Red Arrows. And the first 10 exciting years of the Red Arrows in their nets. Tighten your seatbelts.